let's have a look at the first of our angle theorems when it comes to circles. Okay, so again, it's one of these ones where you can replace the word arc with chord because we're talking about the end points. So the angle is subtended by an arc or a chord at the center, double the angle, the angle subtended at the um, circumference. Let's have a look at a picture of that. So to say, you can replace the word chord with arc, but arc's probably a better one to say. Because if you think about a chord, you've got a straight line, and you can go either side of the line. Whereas when you say arc, you really can only go one way, because you can't go outside the circle. So that's probably why we use the word arc rather than the word chord in that particular theorem. So angle at the center, twice the one at the circumference. Let's go and prove that. Well, how I'm going to prove it is I'm going to uh, join up B and O and, and produce it to a, a third point, which I'll call X. Now, I know triangle AOB will be isosceles because AO and BO are both radii. So therefore, angle OAB must be the same as OBA. They're the, the base angles in the isosceles triangles, or if you prefer, the, the angles opposite the equal sides in the triangle are equal. And AOX will be, well, it's the exterior angle of the triangle. So it'll be those two added up, OBA and OAB. But we just said they were the same. So I could say that's twice OBA. Now, that's what I just did with the triangle on the left-hand side of my line BX. But I could do exactly the same with the one on the right-hand side. So I don't write it all out again, because I would do exactly the same steps. I will just say, well, angle COX would also be twice angle OBC, uh, using a similar method. So if I add those two together, I get AOC is twice ABC. So the angle of the center, is in fact twice the angle at the circumference. That then leads to another theorem, the angle in the semicircle theorem. It's always going to end up being a right angle. And the reason for that is, well, it's the same theorem we just did. It's just that the angle at the centre now is a straight line. So we can say, so AOB is a straight angle, so it's 180 degrees, but the angle at the centre is twice the angle at the circumference, so therefore the one at the circumference must be 90 degrees. So that's how we prove our angle in a, a semicircle theorem. Okay, so there's just a couple of angle theorems to, to start us off.